basically at this point, I need to get these propellers figured out. This is obviously square and nothing else on this thing is square. So there's not, it's not intended to be that way. I basically gonna make a tubing that comes up through here and it's gonna attach down here on the propeller shaft. The tubing will be, it'll slide. And basically I have to have it sort of a banana shape uh, because this is going to articulate up and down and unless you uh, have a banana shape it's going to when you go down it's going to bind so if it if it's a smooth transition then technically I don't have to have a pivot in there I can just have that that piece and it won't bind up on it so that's kind of important and basically wherever that is is where I can cut this line and then connect it in here and this will be skinned um, so it'll be kind of narrow in the back here um, which is not a lot of flotation but um, with the weight of the engine and the tire and everything it could be sitting pretty low back here uh, but we're gonna find that out another time uh, that's one inch diameter this is one and a quarter inch you have to order this stuff kind of custom because they don't typically come in the sizes and this is the propeller shaft bearing it's just rubber in there but it slides on the propeller shaft and it basically uh, just so it's not metal on metal rubbing and when there's water in there it lubricates it enough so that it doesn't wear out real quick but yeah so that kind of goes on there and I'm basically going to uh, I machine that down out of the thicker stuff over there so it's a little bit lighter than it was. I'm going to press that in there when the time comes. I drew a line on the table here and what that line is representing here is have the propeller shaft tube ride on this round angle here it's banana angle and basically it's going to come up and down like that i think about nine inches so the propeller will drop that distance down there the reason i'm doing that is because basically the propeller shaft is straight and it's on a pivot over here but this thing when the bearing is pressed in there and it's welded onto a piece of metal it's not going to want to pivot so if you go down it's going to need to pivot but it won't so the way i'm kind of try to simplify that is by putting it on a slider that's at an angle that is conducive for it to just slide and i'm hoping if it's accurate enough it'll uh basically work. but i don't know so you build it so we're going to try to build it here it's going to come up and down Okay, so we're using the roller here on the press. This thing actually works pretty good. A lot of the stuff I couldn't really do any other way, so I'm glad I got this tool. Just gotta roll it back and forth a little bit at a time. Line it up with the other one. Still need to go some more. It's kind of easy to go too much with this thing, and then it's really hard to get this to straighten. See if it'll come in just slightly. I'd say that's good enough. Gotta bend this guy to the same exact of that and then it'll slide through it, hopefully. Um, yeah, we'll see. We gotta change the dies in there to a little smaller. I think I have a set, so we'll get them. I only bought two of these, so I hope I don't mess it up. Damn. 
Okay, I bent it a little too far. You can see I got a quarter inch too much. Now I went too far the other way. Perfect. Now I gotta cut the flat spot off of these. And then see if this will slide in there. flat spots off of these guys too. We'll just cut it in half. So it's not exactly a tight fit. There's maybe an eighth of an inch of gap in between those, but I think that'll be fine. I'm gonna have to figure some sort of seal out here so we're not taking on water, but um, I knew it had to be a little bit of slack in there, otherwise this would never work. That gets welded there. Propeller shaft tube. Hmm, this is a pain in the ass. Let's look at the real thing. This, slide in there. I'm gonna drill that hole out right there, so that I can slide this into it. Battery! I think I have to make the, the coupler on that end of the drive shaft. So the propeller shaft is then on a pivot consistently. And then I can sort of see if there's gonna be any binding when I hook this stuff up. I'm gonna cut here somewhere. And this thing mounted in there and then there's gonna be a, uh, like a hydraulic cylinder or a 12 volt uh, actuator to make this go up and down. Might work, might not. I got this 12 volt articulating uh, actuator that's gonna to connect to the steel part and be mounted here on the aluminum, that'll slide. I need right now is to finish the propeller shaft. I basically had gotten pretty lucky. This is a, uh, a tail yoke from the back of the transmission. So that did have splines in there and it just so happened to be a pretty tight fit on a one inch uh, shaft. So I literally just pressed them on there and cut them to length so they're or the same length. The propellers are slightly different, so they sit a little differently, but it's not gonna be a problem. What I need to do is weld these guys together. Then I need to press the U-joints in them and slide them in onto the transfer case. Basically then, I'll be able to have this, this shaft here has got a bushing in there that I made out of steel so that it slides pretty tight. And you can basically put the propeller shaft in place. And that, I can basically weld that in place or tack weld it and then start getting it to work properly. But for now, we're gonna weld that. So, great. Okay, so this is a stainless steel shaft and this is just a cast steel, but you can weld them together. Um, using 308 rod. It's pretty much a terrible weld. If I can clean that up, then I'm gonna re-weld this one because I'm not super happy with how it looks. Hope it's still balanced. All right, so here we are. I got it uh, pretty much built. Still, some of it's still just tacked in, but you can see the extent of it. Goes down eight inches. It's a little slow. I'll show you working here. I think it's about 30 seconds to get to the top. So that's kind of too slow, but if you go faster with one of these little ones, 
then it doesn't have as much power, so you can't lift as much. So there you go, and it's all the way up for him. Just clears up there. Just clears the top because it, uh, otherwise it'd stick out over the hood. This is gonna get welded. It's pretty lightweight. Um, there's a little bit of play in here. You can see that through there. I'm gonna try to find a uh, like a plastic sleeve to line in there, just so it's not uh, it's not running metal on just so it's not running metal on metal here because this that's how it is kind of currently. But uh, anyways, yeah. Cool. On to the other side. Great.